Barry Nickerson will kick off for the Army team. When we saw Navy in their opening game this season uh, with Roger Staubach in the back with the quarterback. He had an all-senior group with him. Now it's an all-sophomore group with the exception of Roger Staubach. There you see Angel, number 21, and Lizer, number 25. The deep men to receive this kickoff for Navy. It's a Navy home game. They are wearing the Navy blue. And now we need another Navy man deep, and he is racing onto the field, and he is Rudhouse. Alan Rudhouse has gone deep also to give him an alignment of three men as they were one shy. So we'll get straight out to the kickoff. The visiting Army team in white here this afternoon. Barry Nickerson starts forward. And the Army-Navy game is underway. Lizer waits at the three-yard line. Lizer to the five to the ten. Lizer to the 15, and he is out of bounds at the 16-yard line. And Tom Lizer, 25, is the left halfback. And now, they beat the snap. The penalty marker is down. Staubach throws, and it is incomplete. As you saw, number 16, Roley Stitchway try to intercept. So off the five-yard penalty, offside against Navy. They had a line that a little over... Split it in, way out. Taken this time by Staubach. Handed off in close. Taken by Lizer. Second down and 15 at the 13 for the Navy team. Split the running backs. Roger Staubach rolls back now. And he is hit and knocked into the end zone. Staubach. Staubach knocked across the goal line. Is it going to be spotted out? It's a safety. It is a safety. And it's two points for the Army team. And they had eight men coming and coming hard. And that caused Roger Staubach to be dropped in the end zone for the safety as you saw it. John Seymour is deep for the Army team to receive this punt. Floats it up there. Seymour comes up the middle of the 40-yard line at the 45. Seymour to the 50. And it's still there at the midfield strike. Sam Champy is split far out to the right side. The flanker to the near side is Johnny Johnson. Stitchway lost the pass, and it's incomplete. Set in the double wing. This is Seymour carrying number 43. Seymour picked up one yard and maybe two at the interior lineman there on the shotgun. Now Stitchway is deep, a quick kick. End over in, he should get a good roll. And it's at the 15, the 10, the 5, and it is stopping just short of the goal line. However, Calvin Hewitt, number 49, is flanked far to the right side. Roger Staubach retreats. Sets, leaps into the air, throws the screen, and it's taken at the 15, the 20 by Lizer, and he's up to the 22-yard line. Bill Stutt, number 83, is in there at left end now for Navy. Staubach handing it off in close to Lizer, and the sophomore left halfback goes to the 27-yard line. Staubach still has the ball, number 12, throws on the run, batted down by Johnny Johnson, number 22. It's a good pass. Gets it away. Roley Stitchway retreats. Takes it over his shoulder at the 31. He's at the 30. And he is still at the 33-yard line. Stitchway retreats, sets, keeps the ball. 35-yard line to 36. He picked up three. It's second down and seven yards to go. It's to the left, and they're in the shotgun now, and they're going to kick it again with Stitchway again. Firing it out of there. It hits on the 12, bounce to the 5. Is it going to stop this time? No, it's not. It goes in there and is blown dead now for the touchback. Roger Staubach calling signals for Navy. Play goes back to the inside with Danny Wong, number 36, the fullback carrying. Calvin Hewitt from Pascagoula, Mississippi is flanked to the right side. Tom Leiser gets the handoff and Leiser hits in. They try to sneak it with Staubach carrying. And it appeared that he may very well have picked up the first down. It is first and ten for the Navy. Bill Norton is split far to the right side as Navy in a shotgun gets it to Staubach. And he can't go, and Staubach is still back at the 26-yard line for a loss of five. Staubach is deep, gets to the right pass, retreats, leaps in the air, throws the screen to Wong. And he is filled for a loss again. Stitchway is back in there defensively at safety for Army. Staubach with the ball. Again throws out into the flat on the screen and it's taken by Huey. And Huey moves up across the 25 to the 26-yard line. Williams with the boot. Johnny Johnson lets it roll. It's across the 50. Now bounce back downfield. It's down by the Navy. 
and moves the ball back to the 35-yard line, clipping indicated by referee Buchanan. Army leading by a score of 2 to nothing. Seymour in motion. Stitchway has the ball. Out to Seymour. At the 45, and Seymour across the 50-yard line. Out of bounds right there at midfield. The temperature at noon was 57 degrees. Seymour back to the inside, and Seymour to the 43-yard line. John Mickelson, number 89, on the tackle. Army beat Iowa State. Move it up the middle this time. To Don Parcells carrying to the 40-yard line. It's a Seymour. Racing in across the 35. Second and five, the situation. They try to Parcells, the fullback, and the Navy defense. Army has used a variety of offensive sets so far. So is Navy, for that matter. Seymour in motion. Stitchway rolling. And he's going to carry it himself. 30, 25, 20, and he's diving forward. Out of bounds at the 14-yard line. Took the ball first and 10 to the 14. This time, it's taken by Johnny Johnson coming off the wing. And Seymour in motion. Stitchway with the ball. Looks for Seymour. Goes to the end zone, incomplete. And did he hold on to it for the interception or did he not? Navy thinks he intercepted in the end zone. And it is, he did, and it's a touchback. And Danny Wong, here in the first quarter with two minutes, four seconds left to play. They're in a shotgun, and Roger Starback gets a direct snap. Gets across to the 22. Taken by Roger Starback. And he fires, complete, out into the flat. Taken by Calvin Huey. Team. Stitchway calls for a fair catch. Drops the ball and recovers at the 33-yard line. Rolly Stitchway, the quarterback. Seymour in motion. Seymour has the football, number 43, down the sideline to the 43-yard line. They try it straight ahead and pick up the first down. That's the end of the first quarter of the score. It's Army 2 and Navy nothing. Riley Stitchway, number 16, the quarterback. They start Johnny Johnson in motion, and they give it instead to John Seymour hitting back to the inside. Johnson is 22. This is Stitchway. Now he throws, and it's incomplete. Penalty marker down, an interference call on the far side. Stitchway moves it across the 50 and up to the 49-yard line. And they shift into deep punt formation, sending Seymour deep. And that is Skip Orr, the deep man you saw. Skip Orr, number 33, waits at the 11-yard line. He's back to the 15 and hit down on the 17-yard line. Donnelly protecting for Staubach there in the shotgun formation, and Staubach fires it. It's deflected incomplete. An on-racing lineman got it. President Johnson is not here today. It is second and 10 for the Navy. They have the ball at the 17. Staubach passing to Leiser, and Leiser across the 30, and out of bounds on the far side. An ineligible pass receiver downfield. And Staubach with the ball, again in dangerous territory, out to the five. Staubach got to the nine-yard line. They're in about 15, Lazar's back in at halfback. Staubach, sets. Sets again. Now moves out to the 10. And he is pulled out at the 10-yard line. He picked up one yard. Williams gets it out, a spiraling kick that is driving Stitchway back. He muffs it at the 40. Picks it up at the 34, to the 35, to the 40, and lurch through a whole host of Navy men. You think it's noisy in Philadelphia, you're right. Give it to Seymour, at the 43, and he is across the 40, and going to the 37-yard line of Navy. Parcells in motion, Seymour with the football, to the 30, 25, 20, John Seymour, 
out of bounds at the five yard line. This is Rolly Stitchway, and he throws, and it's touchdown! Taken by Sam Chappie, number 86. Sam Chappie for the touchdown. Pierce gets the snap, it's down, Nickerson's kick is up. It's no good, wide to the right. So as they come back up the field, it is Army eight and Navy nothing. Lazar, Angel, and Rudhouse for the deep men as Nickerson's kickoff is taken at the 15-yard line. Rudhouse returning, and he is across the 30. Roger Staubach, the quarterback. That's Huey in motion. Staubach runs the option. That was pinned by N. Tom Schwartz. And second down and nine yards to go for Navy. Direct snap to Starbuck in the shotgun. He fires it upfield to Lizer, incomplete. Lizer, number 25. It is third down and nine yards to go, and they go into the shotgun again with Starbuck deep to get the direct pass from center, and he gets it. He's up in the pocket, and he's pinned at the 25 for a loss of seven yards. Williams gets it out of there. It is at the Army 40. There'll be no run back. And holding is the signal you see there against Army. And they're going to now bring out the chain, I believe. Navy's up there to go for it, fourth and one. Army leading by a score of eight, nothing. Roger Staubach. That's Huey in motion. Staubach calling starting signals. Runs the option again. The pitch this time on the end of it. It moves to the 49-yard line with Donnelly carrying. Jim Ryan comes in there at left end, now number 88 for the Navy team. They have the ball at their own 49. Right back to the inside with Pat Donnelly, the fullback carrying. That should be enough for another Navy first down. That's Donnelly in motion. Starbuck. Decides to run it, 45. And to the 40-yard line. Norton is the split end, top of your screen, 84. Right up the middle. Waging him out. Pat Donnelly. Wong is playing the left halfback position in place of Lizer. This is Roger Starbuck studying and wants to throw. Scrambles along the sideline and is knocked out of bounds. Just about the line of scrimmage. Navy wants to go for the inches that they need right now. Donnelly gets the football, and he fits the first down for Navy. And Danny Wong is in his fullback. Lizer's the left halfback. back. Donnelly's out of the ball game. Staubach retreats and sets. It's hit. Wriggles free. Hit again. He's at the 35. Push forward and gets to the 27-yard line. And Lizer went out. So Wong and Donnelly are both in that backfield, along with Huey, who's in motion. Staubach's the quarterback, runs the option, the pitch, and it's taken by Donnelly. And Donnelly lurches forward. He got enough for the first down with yardage to spare. One minute, 58 seconds remaining in the half. Staubach sets, throws the sideline pattern, and it's a completed pass taken by Norton. Just inside the 15-yard line. Army leading 8 nothing in Navy driving. Starbuck sets and throws out into the front. It is complete. Taken to the five. And Lizer's out of bounds at the three-yard line. Taken by Lizer. And Lizer picks up a yard to the two-yard line. Again, they try it up the middle to Danny Wong. And Danny Wong. It's, this is the third down play. They try it in close, and the Army team holds Danny Wong carrying. It'll be fourth down and goal to go at the one-yard line. Here we go. And it is a touchdown as they gave it to Lizer. Coming back, Lizer for the touchdown. Navy scored with Lizer coming back to the inside. They come up there to go for two. They're going to try to tie it here. A two-point conversion attempt. Roger Starbuck sets fakes and throws now into the end zone and it's taken it's good 
It is good. He held it long enough. It was taken by Norton, Phil Norton, number 84. He took it, held it long enough, was shaken loose, but the official there says that's good. But it is Tom Williams, the punter, who's going to kick it off because they want to dribble it downfield to prevent a run back. Stitchway has it at the 24. Raleigh Stitchway at the 30, and he's at the 31-yard line. And the team's head for the locker rooms. And that's the end of the first half. The score is Army 8 and Navy 8. Tom Williams for Navy. And here is Williams' kickoff to start the second half. Seymour takes it on the three-yard line. Seymour to the five, to the 10, to the 15, to the 21-yard line. And that is where Army will put it in play first. Is the Army quarterback. He's been seen two-way duty here this afternoon. Offensive quarterback, defensive safety man. Stitchway has the ball. Lunges forward, just put his head down and got that two extra yard. Here in a wing tee. Pitch to Seymour. Looking for the first down. And he lunged across. All right, this time to Don Parcells, the fullback. Now they're up there in the double wing set this time. Parcells in motion. Give it to Seymour back to the inside. A personal foul. Third down and 19. They're in the shotgun now. It's Stitchway deep. That's Seymour in motion. Low pass. Stitchway picks it up off the ground. He's sort of biding his time now. Raleigh Stitchway seeing if he can pick up a pattern at the 15. And he is tripped up by Dave Gillespie, number 64. And here is Stitchway booting it out. Fair catch seemed to be called for by Skip Orr, number 33, and then he got out of the way when he saw it take the hop. It's being blown dead. Norton is the split in, number 84. Staubach has the ball. Looks for Norton and throws to the sideline incomplete. Stutt, number 83, in it in, and Ryan out. They alternate, coming in with information from the bench. That's Lizer in motion, 25. Try this one up the middle. In the third quarter. Calvin Huey is the flanked halfback. Starbuck drops back. Throws to Huey, and it's incomplete. Williams gets the kickoff. Raleigh Stitchway is at the 16. Retreats to his 10. This way is brought down up there in the double wing set. Seymour in motion, but they cut it back to Parcells, number 31, and he gets two yards to the 17. Riley Stitchway on the quarterback draw, and he gets just up to the 20 and across his pushback by John Mickelson. And somebody beat the snap, and contact was made in the... Offside is preliminary call against both sides, and so they're offsetting penalties, and nothing happens at all. Stitchway with the pitch to Johnny Johnson. Parcells throws the block. Johnson fighting his way up short of the 25-yard line. When Army goes into punt formation, they shift in the punt formation, but they try the sneak, and it is Stitchway carrying, and he appeared to pick it up on a quick snap. Seymour in motion. It's Parcells carrying, number 31. Johnson in motion, sprinting out there. Parcells has the football, number 31. He gets to the 35-yard line and across it. This is Johnny Johnson. Moving it to the 39-yard line. He picked up four yards. Five minutes, 24 seconds left in the third quarter. Seymour in motion, back to Parcells. But Navy piles him up at the 40-yard line. Double wing set, Seymour in motion, and Stitchway has the ball. It's good protection, and it's incomplete as Hardman almost intercepted. Gene Hardman, number 61, the defensive captain, almost intercepted. Stitchway with the quarterback draw. Seymour booms it out. Or is at his 23, his 25. And Orr returns. Huey is flanked. Direct snap to Starbuck. 
Fires it and it is deflected and taken near the midfield stripe. Navy. Snap to the short man. Penalty marker down. A Navy man appeared to beat the snap. The military academy and the Naval Academy. Offside against our Navy. Ryan and Norton the end. Sylvan and Freeman the tackles. Conley and Marlin the guards. And Kenton the center. Huey and Long back deep motion. The option play run by Starback. Huey is flanked this time, far side. Starbuck rolls, sets, looks, and throws. And a diving grab. Did he get it? He did not. He trapped the ball. Norton, third down, 13 yards to go. Roger Starbuck. Flips the football, complete at the 38. It is taken by Cal Huey. He's at the 36. Calvin Huey. That was a big, big play for the Navy team. It picked up a first down. Starbuck again sets and whips the ball and it's incomplete couldn't hold on Julius flanked to the right side just outside Norton number 84 the end well they try this one inside with Danny Wong the fullback carrying third and six for Navy Starbuck goes long way down incomplete well, Williams is tying up the booting uh, Shoe there to turn up that toe, and Felix Bassey is in the hole for it. It'll be a 50 yard field goal attempt. Not going to be long enough. Now that ball's in play. It goes on into the end zone, gets near the end line, across the end line. That's the touchback. It'll be Rolly Stitchway running the attack. Double wing set, Parcells in motion. Seymour gets the ball, 43. Seymour again. Looking for a place to turn up field. As time has run out in this period, that's the end of the third quarter. The score is Army 8, Navy 8. Army has the ball third and six at 30 to 24 yard line of Army. Stitchway gives it to Seymour back to the inside, fighting at the 30 yard line. This way, sets up and lost the long one down the sideline. And it was taken, but he was across the sideline marker, I believe. Let's... Second and ten, Army's ball at the Army 31. Stitchway has it. He's going to run it to the 35, to the 40, to the 45, and out of bounds. Right. Stitchway still has the ball. The long pass. Champy takes it, and Sam Champy is inside the 20-yard line. Al Rudolph brought him down. This is Parcells, scrambling forward after he was hit. They're in that double wing set now. This is Seymour back to the inside. Got to the 13-yard line. 12 minutes left to play in the game. It's a Stitchway keeping and looking for the first down, and he got it at the seven-yard line. First and goal to go for Army. Seymour. No gain as Hartman was in there to make the tackle. The linebacker fired through. Stitchway looking, faking, running, heading for the corner, and can't get daylight, and... Third down and goal. This is Stitchway carrying and looking, and he still has the ball, and he is down at the three-yard line. It'll be fourth down and goal as the Navy defense deploy, and they go to the field goal as Pierce is going to hold. Nickerson will kick from the 10, so it's a 20-yard field goal attempt. Pierce holding. Barry Nickerson will kick. Up. Good. The field goal came with 9 minutes, 30 seconds left in the game, and it sends Army out in front by a score of 11 to 8. Tom Leiser is the center deep man for Navy. Leiser at the 4. Lost his balance, and uh, he didn't get the ball. As a matter of fact, the knee went down back in the 4-yard line. Navy is 96 yards away from the Army goal. Starbuck. Handing off to Danny Wong. 
Coming to the outside is Lizer, and Lizer stretches out the long leg. Danny Wong, the fullback, cutting back in to the 17-yard line. I don't believe they've had a rest uh, the entire game. Goble is in at fullback, number 34 now for Navy. Starbuck has the ball, fires it, and it is taken at the 26-yard line, a completed pass with 6 minutes 58 seconds. He made it to be played in the game. Roger Starbuck retreating. Fires it complete out into the middle. And it is Ryan again, moving it up to the 44-yard line. Army, it's first and 10 now for Navy. They are near the 45-yard line as Starbuck fires to the sideline. Taken there at the 40. Starbuck again. And he moves it across the 50-yard line. Roger Starbuck. Roger Starbuck leaped into the air but could find nobody open and was dropped for a loss. Sam Champy. Williams gets a good pass and barely got it out and roughing the kicker. Roughing the kicker marker goes down. The ball goes out of bounds at the 34-yard line. There's a big break for Navy after Army had held them defensively and forced them to punt. One of those things where the... Roger Starbuck retreats and throws at the sideline. The 19-yard line, Paul Norton leaped high into the air. Huey is flanked to the far side. Starbuck retreating. And he is stopped by the on-rushing Army line. Second down and 22 yards to go now for Navy at the 39-yard line. Quick pitch to Lizer, trying to go outside. Goes out of bounds about the 40-yard line. Shotgun formation, Starbuck is deep, gets a direct pass. And he can't get rid of it as the Army defense again rushes through and snows him under. Williams in to do the punting. Williams punts for Navy. Stitchway is deep. Ball hits on the 20, bounds around. There'll be no run back. And it's being down on the 19-yard line. Stitchway handing off. Again, it is Parcells, number 31, carrying. First and 10 at the 32. They keep it in close this time. Moving it up to the 34-yard line with Johnny Johnson carrying. This is Dietzel's third try at the Navy. Here's a pitch to Seymour, and he is brought down for a loss. Army's ready to go third and 11 at the 31 with a minute 36 left. Army leading 11 to 8. This is Seymour carrying. He finds some running room and lunges up to the 40-yard line. 11 to 8. There's that clock. And there they go, sending Seymour deep. Skip Orr retreating for the Navy. There is the kick. Hits on the 30. Skip Orr lets it go. Back to the 20. There'll be no run back. And it's at the 19-yard line. So that moves the ball way, way back. A holding penalty against Harvey. Moves the ball back to the 26-yard line. Their deep man. High pass. They're not putting a rush on. They want to get that ball back if they can. Angel is back there. Calls for a fair catch and takes it at the 33-yard line. Navy's ready to go with 41 seconds showing on the clock. The shotgun and Roger Starbuck throws the sideline pattern. And it's taken at the 41-yard line. Second down and a yard to go for the Navy team. 35 seconds left. Starbuck has the ball. Wants to throw deep, but is tipped up and has to eat the football at the 43-yard line. 18 seconds left to play in the game. Starbuck sets and throws long, and it's Huey. He takes it, and it an, an incompleted pass. This could very well be the last play of the ball game. Army leading 11 to 8. Starbuck has the ball for Navy. And the Army defense throws him down. He has to eat it, and he flipped it out instead to Stutt. And Stutt takes the ball. And the game is over as Stutt moved to the 44-yard line. And look at that scene on the field. The cadets swarming out because they at long last have defeated the Navy team. This is a happy gang of cadets.
They have broken the reign of the Navy team. They have broken the string of five straight as Army has won it by a score of 11 to 8.